Session two is about hip bridge variations. So I think for climbing, hip bridge is a really good exercise to do, but there's lots of variations that you can do within that. And we do them quite a lot in our sessions, so I'm gonna share a little session that you guys can do too. We're gonna to do 20 reps of each exercise this time, and we have five different exercises. So kind of sticking to that 100 reps, even though that didn't work out for the last one. It was 200, but it's 100 this time. Okay. So first off, we're just going to do a basic hip bridge. So we're going to be lying on our back and our feet. You don't want your heels too far away, so comfortable position. And then you're going to lift your hips up and then squeeze and hold for three seconds at the top of this. And we do 20 reps. You've got five seconds. You've got five seconds. <laughs> My <laughs> Again, you can add a band around your knees to make this harder. So if you do use a band or a TheraBand tied, you want to make sure your leg isn't being pulled in, that you're keeping your uh, knees hip width apart and you're not letting your knees drop in together and your feet stay strong in the position as well. And the second exercise here is exactly the same thing, but with one leg. And we're going to keep that pause in. So you can do it with the pause for three seconds or without, but I'm going to make it a little bit harder. Three second pause at the top. When you're doing this exercise, you want to make sure your hips stay really nice and straight so they're not wobbling a lot and that you're not putting too much strain through your hamstrings. So if it is putting a lot of strain, maybe lower the reps or stretch out and don't push it and don't overdo it. It will definitely work your leg as well as your glutes and also your lower back. So be sure to not be putting anything under too much strain and really be careful when you're doing these and build up throughout the reps slowly. We did 20. Okay. Yes, boss. Keeping that other leg oh, up. Shoot, oh, sorry. Sorry.
Feeling good? Yeah. Okay, one more exercise just to on each leg to go. Okay. So 20 reps of the last exercise, which is pretty similar. We're gonna do it without the pause this time because we're gonna put our heels further away. So this will put a bit more strain through the hamstring and into the knee a little bit. So again, be careful with these. We're not gonna do the pause because of the higher intensity. So we're just gonna do 20 reps on each side. Yeah? Yep. So here the feet, you're taking them further away. So before we were here, now taking them out. Again, one leg we're gonna go to. So without the pause, just 20 reps, but making sure the hips stay strong and they don't wobble around. So it's up. start to veer off to the side or in, so staying strong through the knee and the leg as well. Again, we'd normally do three reps of that, so every set we do, we do three times three. And then definitely pretty sore afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> As a reminder, I am not a fitness instructor. This is a session that I've worked on with my physios and my coaches, and it's really important for me to keep doing this session whilst we're in lockdown to keep my glutes strong, especially considering I had knee surgery quite recently. But also I do really think it's a good session to do for all climbers and it's really great for people who don't climb as well. It's really actually a useful session. So that's why we thought we'd share it. Um, we do have a little bonus exercise for you guys as well that we've been doing quite a lot since lockdown started because a lot of my rehab is actually in the gym, so I use a leg press a lot for my knee rehab. So Grace has been helping me out with this, so for those of you who are missing a leg press right now. <laughs> Get this off of buddy. Push them up together this time. So, we've got the double leg press. Challenge. Lean back. Left. Step left. The single leg press. You want to make sure your partner is directly in front of your foot, otherwise you slip and fall. <laughs> kind of recommend having cushions or crash mats around for doing this. <laughs> so graceful as ever. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I'd love to know how you get on with the session, so please do share your efforts on it, tag me on Instagram, or comment below on this video, and yeah, we'd love to see how you get on with the partner challenge as well. And if you want to see more partner challenges, because we've got quite a few ideas for partner challenges. <laughs> Thanks. These glutes, hang on. These glutes were made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. One of these days, these glutes are gonna walk right over you. <laughs> <laughs>